A hard set on money cannot succeed in ministry. Many are in ministry today just for money. Can I ever call a hundred million sacrifice to God? No. That would be an insult. Nothing great happens by chance. Welcome to the moment of truth. I want you to stay tuned till the end. I hear all the lies of Bishop Oyedepo. NHS in that room. Fato Yibo is there. Um, Ibiome is there. It is a conference of the, all the mentor, all the people he mentor, his mentee. And you see how he's destroying their lives. And they will pay him heavily for that, so it's not cheap, oh. Maybe $10,000 each. Stay tuned to the end. That's the story. People give when they know it's been properly managed. They give when they know it's been properly managed. But when you, you, they think that they are using them, they will withdraw, they will shrink. If you are ministry for money and you don't repent today, you have lost it. You have lost the ministry. There is no point. Yes. You have lost it. Let's hope they don't throw you away from that church. The members don't rise up and say no. no. So you better check it. Um, you see, he's telling them the power their members possess. That if they rise up against them, they be out of the ministry. And that's why I've been telling all of you that you have the power. It's you that keep allowing them to be dipping their ugly hands into your pockets, to be using your skills, pushing you here and there. Now, he's telling them this. They will go and buckle up and do more with their juju, with all the evil powers they are doing to tie down people. This is why where they determine your destiny. Stay tuned to the end. I'm teaching you the power of financial stewardship. Faithful financial stewardship. So it's not unspiritual to be in error. But it's unscriptural to remain so. When you have found how to do it right. I used to know an Indian ministry to... I hope you didn't miss that. He said, it's not unscriptural to be in error. You see? That's a covenant. Look at all of them there. Sitting there. See what he's telling them. Today, just for money. So he takes it far from them. Their prayer every day is money. Their confession is money. Their proclamation is money. Their study for service is money. Which scripture can I use to get at them? Somebody came to us. Yet, we don't lack. My God. Yet, we don't lack. Somebody gave a car seed one time, and I was driving around the secretary. I saw the car. First, we said, I said, who has this car? I felt like they should call for the person. And I discovered she was a widow. I said, have you got the children to school? They said, the Lord is taking care of it. I said, the Lord told me to return that car to you. You see how brainwashed people have been. A widow gave the only car that he has, that he had to the church. And he was, she was moving around with her children without a car. That's what they do. Oh. As far as the letter was written and signed, the husband of the woman came. What for? The wife gave the car without her permission. When she now saw the letter, she was jittery. She became like, it, be, it became like water. The Lord told me to return it. Not all love is acceptable or receivable. Okay, we're going around and going around. You are not sent by the people, you are sent to the people. You'll be going from office to office. It's, 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 it's been meaning for ministry. It's not dignifying. Can you imagine Jesus knocking somebody's office and say, yeah, Praise the Lord. Say, yes. uh, we're going to Capernaum. We need some funds to charter a boat. Can you imagine Jesus? Okay, what are you doing there? You know, he told another story of another woman that gave 
the only car they have in the house without the permission of the husband. So the husband went there. He said uh, the Lord led him to return the car or something like that. That's what they are doing. He said, uh, will, will Jesus be asking for money? Okay, what? He said he never did that. I put another video there now where he's asking for money. Stay tuned. We are not asking you to give so the church can be blessed. We're asking you to give so you can be blessed. Yes. The church is a blessed body. He said, The glory of this little house shall be greater than the former. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, said the Lord. You are not given as a sponsor. You are given as a privileged covenant child. You are too small to sponsor the kingdom. You are too small to sponsor the kingdom. Because God's project is according to God's size. You can't measure up. You are too small to be a kingdom sponsor. No. Don't ever mistake yourself as a sponsor. Our mission has no sponsor. The silver is mine and the gold is mine. See the Lord. But we get blessed along as he carries out his project on the earth. By committing ourselves to it. I knew giving was the way up. And I committed myself to it. By covenant. And bless God, I'm not done. I'm up. You heard all his lies. So you see how I exposed his lies there. He said, thank God his hope is not down. He's teaching them what to do to get money. How to do it and what not to do in order not to be kicked out of the pulpit. That's why NHL will continue to be stealing. I just posted a video by Biome. He said they must give fat offering because people have stopped giving tithes. Now, they want to put pressure on them to be giving offering. Where is it in the Bible that Jesus pushing them or pressurizing them, people, to give? And the way they be quoting scriptures up and down, confusing people. See how Ideko is training all these thieves, all these rogues. As we speak, there's a case of his pastors, of his pastor in Wari that collected, uh, what was it called? Car from a member, lied to them that the person will be richer than Dangote. Now, police is chasing him to return that laser. So, that guy learned all this thief, thiefing, stealing from Oyedepo. Look at the hall there, look at all of them. All of them, the all there. They are stealing, robbing people. All these pastors on the altar, all these branch pastors, they are stealing, robbing people. This is what he's teaching them. This is what he's teaching them. And these same people will be condemning cross gender. My people, how far now? What do we, how do we sort out this problem? He has already told us what to do. We have to rise up against them. He told us. So it's up to you. We have to rise up against them. There must be a protest against all these pastors. People vacate all the... Vacate, my people. Vacate all these evil churches. There's no God there. They know what they are doing. They know that their Jesus is a fake Jesus. That Ghanaian Shia now, I didn't want to put that video here. I saw it yesterday. He was saying with his full chest that the Jesus in Nigeria is a fake Jesus. He does not answer them. And he was insulting the Almighty Father. I said, no. Jesus, this man is talking about is not the Jesus that went to the cross of Calvary, that died and rose up the third day and right now sitting at the right hand of the Father. It's not the one that rebuked the sea. No, it's not that Jesus. It's not the one 
that led Moses and Egyptian and uh, Israelites out of the Egypt. It's not that Jesus that commanded Moses to, to stick his uh, rod and divide the sea. It's not that Jesus. It's not that Jesus that provides water for the Israelites in the, in, in the wilderness. It's the rod that never fail. But because of all these thieves, all these rogue pastors, that their gods are dead and lying on Jesus, using Jesus' name to be still here and there. That year was saying that Jesus is powerless. But I know he's not talking to real Jesus. He's talking to the fake Jesus of Nigeria pastors. You know, they cannot answer that man, no. But when daddy frees, daddy frees, touches on tights and offering, all of them chopped out and started raining curses on daddy frees. This is what I'm saying to you, my people. How can someone be lying like this? Oh, Yedekpo, lying like this. I've done a series of videos about Yedekpo. Go and check it up. You see all his lies there. He has 1,001 mouth. This is how he's cajoling people. People dropping their cars. There's one year, I think 2003 or 2013. They say he collected 130 cars. Every shilo, they are collecting cars. Till date. Till date, they are collecting cars. People will just be dropping it. Be dropping it. If you go there, unless you don't have, if you have, you will, you will drop everything. He's a ritual. He's a ritualist. He has done money ritualist. And that's it. There's no other thing. That's the only area he is there. He failed in every other area. If you like, believe what I'm saying. They say their members should not watch me. All of them I'm talking about. They've commanded their members not to watch my video. So I will encourage you to share. Share, share, share. Let's save lives. And I will see you on my next video. Bye for now.